Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how we are going to use database. So we are going to connect the Golang with the database and uh, we'll be like uh, adding few data to that. So what we have to do first is to download PostgreSQL because that's the database we are going to use. Uh, for Windows user, you can click, no, you can, you can go to this URL, postgresql.org slash download. For Windows user, click on Windows go to uh, download the installer and you can download the windows 86 64 git and uh, whoever is using mac can download from mac and uh, same with linux users along with that you need to download a pg admin we will be using pg admin where we can actually see our database being loaded so we can use the latest version of pg admin i have already downloaded you guys can go ahead and download if you have any questions on downloading please put me that in the comment i will help you with that so let's go to the coding so we will have a constant constant will have all the data i mean all the details about the database host equals to it will be local host and whenever you're downloading you have to give a root password and that password is very important so that would be the password you are calling here 5432 port will always be that unless you changed user equals to postgresql postgres minus postgres password okay i'm not sharing my password you should also not share your password password i'm keeping it blank I'll fill that later on. Make sure to fill the password. Database name. Okay, I am calling minus, let's call it as first DB. Okay, now main function. Connect FMT dot f okay and here we are giving host since it's string it's port is integer user equals to DVD SSL mode equals to DC comma host comma port comma password comma DVD db comma equals to sql dot open yeah before this i'm so sorry you have to download go get github github dot com slash uh, library slash pq this is very important to have all that you know we and we would need that in our imports too so we have to get this thing installed so mine is already installed just run, still running but you make sure you're installing that postgres comma psql check error from db dot close so we are now going to hard code this is only for the reference you know how what database is usually we always have our data inserted in the database so i'm just inserting it here intentionally since we are only using it for demo so let's have an employee 
employee details so i'm putting the employee details as we will have a name comma and id so this is only for a reference how we are going to add this details in our details values we can put this as row width or whatever name you like try one And score comma e equals to db dot check error e. yeah now we will have dynamic this was we have hard coded now we'll have dynamic Let's call it DNS statement. Insert into employee and name. We can have another. We will add our employee ID. Values. Yeah. So underscore comma e equals to db dot execute insert statement comma you can give a name as um crush comma zero three Check error E. Now we'll have function check error error if error not equals to nil. Panic. No, I'm sorry. Closing. Oh, I didn't close here. Uh, mine default imports so you have, you have to make sure you're importing okay i see that it should be capital M. okay okay so oh, and even this should be disabled Yeah, so now if we run this, let's go use kitbish go run main.go. I would get an error which I'm expecting. Yeah, not this error I was expecting. 
try again. I'm not sure what that issue was. Go around main dark. Oh yeah, okay. So okay, it failed for the user Postgres. Yeah, because I haven't given a password. So since I haven't given a password, I was getting this error. So you have to add a password from the root. So I'll just add that. Did my password now? Let me rerun that again. Okay. Yeah, still authentication failed. So that's because I haven't created in a because there is no D, uh, first db dot. Uh, there is nothing in my database. So let's add something in the database. Let me close all the window and let me call pgl. In my database, let me create a new database. Create, I'm sorry, create a new database. So I'll give the name as uh, I'll create a database name as first DB. That's what it is, right? First DB. So I'll name it as first underscore DB and save. So I have my first DB. Now I'll go to Siemens and I'll check the table and I'll create table and I'll create a table called employee and save. Now in columns, I'll create uh, I had name and the definition. I'll call it as character varying and we'll keep 120 characters save and then i'll create another one i'll name it as employee id the same what i have saved there employee id and i'll call this as integer as an integer and save now if i run this now if I run this, go run main.go. What did I do? Name. I made a mistake somewhere okay it's not employee so small issues can make a big issues here <laughs> okay now if i and I run this let me clear this and go run main.com perfect now if you go to the database and my database if you see a column employee if you open the employee rows you will see with and crush so that our thingy i mean our thing is stored in the database so this is how you call database in golang and this is only a very simple hi so this was a simple example of uh, saving the data in the database so if you like my video do like share and comment on my video and do subscribe thank you